Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about solar PV tracking system. So we know very well that solar PV tracking system will help us to increase the solar energy production. So simply if you want to understand that uh, we always need uh, solar radiation falling on the solar panel in 90 degree. It means the perpendicular to the panel. We already studied that if the solar radiation fall in perpendicular to the panel, then uh, the electricity production will be maximum. So uh, simply by changing the tilt angle, tilt angle if you look at in the left side of the picture, the single axis tracking system is a horizontal axis. So if we by changing the tilt angle, by, it means like by little bit of rotating, we can make that uh, uh, to happen. It means like we can make that solar radiation falling in 90 degree, or it means perpendicular to the panel. So this is one of the thing. And if you look at another thing that uh, from morning the sun uh, rises in the east and uh, afternoon uh, left in west. So we need to, to track this uh, the direction of the sun. So that is uh, the vertical axis. If you look at in the, the right side, single axis tracking system on the vertical axis. So we also need to rotate the panel in order to capture the solar radiation in, in the right direction. So uh, we'll look at in detail how this uh, solar tracking system help us to increase the solar production. So solar photovoltaic tracking system is a mechanism designed to increase the efficiency of solar panels by orienting them towards the sun. So the objective is to orient the solar panels towards the sun as it moves across the sky because we know that sun is moving across the sky. So each time from morning, afternoon to evening, so it's changing. The position is changing. So we have to orient the solar, uh, so the solar panels towards the sun okay by adjusting the angle of the panel a tracking system help capture maximum sunlight okay so the, the again the, the objective is to capture the maximum sunlight to achieve this objective we are what our action is to uh, uh, orient the solar panels towards the sun thereby improving the yield uh, energy yield so what we are eventually getting we improve the energy production this system can significantly enhance solar panel performance. So at the end, it, it will enhance the solar panel performance by increasing about 20 to 30 percentage compared to the fixed system. So if we have a proper solar PV tracking system, we can increase the uh, solar power production by 20 to 30 percent. It's, it's a huge, huge amount of uh, increase. OK, now uh, there's a question people ask, like, uh, do we, do we really need the solar uh, uh, panel tracking uh, system? So uh, my answer is that if uh, uh, your solar panels are not performing well, or the, the uh, your solar panels is uh, uh, disturbed by the nearby tree or other things, some uh, some performance related issues, then we can think about the tracking system because solar tracking system solar PV tracking system is a cost we have to add the additional cost to install the solar PV tracking system but theoretically it will increase uh, about 20 to 30 percentage of energy production but it's up to the uh, uh, customer to decide whether to have a solar PV tracking system or not because it, it, it has additional cost. Okay, let's look at types of solar PV tracking system. So single axis tracking system and dual axis tracking system. There are two types, very simple. We can simply understand what is single axis tracking system. Single axis tracking system, uh, we can see in many places. Uh, recently, I visited a solar farm, one megawatt. Uh, solar farm there, they have the single axis tracking system. It's a very simple tracking system. We have this, uh, panel is installed in between two poles and there's a center there's a there's a like a pipe in the center then this is axis this axis this x this is rotated by this mechanism okay so it can turn uh, this way or we can panel can come this way whatever the direction you you can understand like this direction here one at one point panel can come to this like this 
another point now this panel is look like this later panel can come like this okay like likewise you can change the the uh, the horizontal axis it's, it's horizontal axis okay we can change the horizontal axis you can simply think the tilt angle actually we are changing the tilt angle okay so this is a very simple mechanism <coughs> uh, many pl places they have this uh, mechanism without uh, tracking the solar radiation uh, by measuring uh, the direction of the solar radiation they just uh, uh, plainly uh, uh, plan with the time we know that uh, usually in the morning where the sun is appear uh, after around 10 o'clock where it comes and 12 o'clock where it comes so so recently i visited the uh, solar pv farm they don't have a complete tracking system but they have this single access uh, tracking system where the panels can move but uh, according to what means they set according to the time so they fix this is also partially possible like it's not perfect system but it's a partially uh, um, suitable system because uh, we know that in the morning where the sun is appear and the afternoon where it's appear so based on that we can uh, uh, operate the uh, uh, manually actually they are manually moving the um, uh, solar panels single axis it's a tracking system but it's not automatic tracking system but it's a manual tracking system okay okay single axis tracking system rotate on one axis usually from west to east okay obviously it's west to east how the uh, where the sun appears then based on that the we are moving our solar panels okay okay it's simpler and less expensive than the dual axis system but it only adjusts the tilt in one direction as i said it's a tilt angle so we are we can only adjust the tilt angle generally horizontal or vertical one direction it's a, it, it is a only one direction movement okay so commonly used in large utility scale solar farm it's commonly used in the last large utility scale solar farm uh, now look at dual axis tracking so dual axis mean you can change the tilt angle as we said earlier also that is a horizontal axis movement we can also change the the vertical axis vertical axis mean here what is that vertical axis mean we can rotate we can change change the, the we can rotate actually we can rotate the panel so rotate means like actually we are changing the vertical axis of the panel okay so that's a dual axis uh, tracking system dual axis mean one is a horizontal axis and the vertical axis okay so if we can change both axes then the the uh, it's called the uh, dual axis panel okay that's a, if you look at this uh, panel here okay this is a panel is a dual axis panel means what what is happening like uh, we can one at one point we can uh, tilt like this okay this is we are moving the moving in the horizontal axis okay if it is only horizontal axis we can move like this or other way around okay now this is clear right if it is a horizontal axis we are moving if this is a dual axis so we can do both so what what we can do we can tilt we can turn it in the, the anti clock let's say i'm turning in the anti clock directions so what the new position of the panels look like this so we can move in this direction as well the panel will become like this this is your panel new direction if we use both axis we change in both axis we can bring like this okay so that's a dual axis tracking system we we can have okay so the mechanism of tracking system we have a bearing and we have a, a kind of setup here to uh, set up so both uh, uses for each axis vertical axis and horizontal axis so this is a simple mechanism to make both axes we can move um, the panel in both axes okay so that's why it's, it's a little bit of cost involved because it's an additional setup we have to do it so there's a cost in okay dual axis uh, tracking system moves two axes okay one tracking the sun's east to west movement and the other adjusting the sun's elevation attitude or elevation and attitude okay this maximizes solar energy capture by aligning panel more accurately throughout the year so this is aligning the panel more accurately 
adjusting each each season where the changes of sun's position changes <coughs> it based on that it can adjust more complex and costly than the single axis tracking system but more efficient it's obviously it's more costly than the single axis tracking system but more efficient okay so what are the key components of uh, these uh, tracking system the motor actuators we need the motor to drive this uh, small this is small motors to drive the movement to get the movement of solar panels we have to move this either horizontal axis or vertical axis or both axis so the dual axis panel so we need two motor actually we need two motors for the dual axis we need a single motor for the uh, uh, single axis okay the sensors we need sensors to detect the sunlight intensity and guide the panel for optimal orientation so it should be automatic system okay sensors will detect where the sun's position then based on the sensor sensor give feedback signal to the motor the controller the controller will uh, give the signal to the motor to move which direction okay which direction means how many steps motor has to move okay this uh, is a small control system going to function we now see, see that we are connecting the application of control system into the solar pv industry so it's it's a little bit of automation idea is coming into the picture okay next the controller okay process as a sensor data to operate the motor and ensure the system align with the sun's position as i said the controller will take care of the the solar panels align with the uh, sun's position by changing the motor i mean by operating the motor how it's operate based on the signal it receive from the sensors sensor says that the so sun's position is changed to here so then uh, the pro controller understands and it process the the movement okay the power source okay solar trackers often use a small amount of power to operate okay we need to operate the motor and the controller so controller is electronic device it need a little bit of power and the motor we need a, a current supply to the motor but this we can get the same power from the solar pv itself or from the external source okay it is up, up to the designer how you power the motors okay so these are the key components now we are going to look at advantages what are the advantages so increased energy output trackers help increase energy production by capturing more sunlight okay especially in the early morning and late afternoon so this track uh, the so the trackers really help to capture more sunlight okay it's simple better land utilization in utility scale installation trackers can help make the best use of available land by increasing per panel energy output actually by increasing the panel output actually we are reducing number of panel required let's say we need 100 kilowatt system if we, without trackers we may have to install x number of panels with trackers we need to in, increase x minus some numbers oh, because we efficiency increase by 20 let's say 20 percentage so the panel numbers will reduce by particular amount okay so actually number of panels requirement will reduce because Uh, each panel produce more output when we have a tracking system so it mean we are saving land utilization okay okay that's good so what are the disadvantages as we always say every technology every systems have the advantage and disadvantage here the disadvantage is a high cost because this is another control system we have to keep motors sensors controllers so this is another setup we had to install that is a costly it take cost so it's money wise it's it's a decision making whether we really want to install the tracking system or not then the next one is maintenance tracking system have moving part now it's come to the picture because in the solar panels we don't have a moving part in the solar panel in the simple solar panel system but here tracking system has motor to to make the movement okay so that motor have the move, moving part so it require maintenance so again uh, that is a another complexity so we need a regular maintenance to uh, check the motor is functioning properly then uh, the last one is energy consumption trackers consume a small amount of energy as we said 
So that reduced the net energy because we are producing some amount of energy from solar panels and from there a little bit of amount of energy we are going to use for tracking the solar panels. Okay, that's a, another, uh, another bit of negative side. Okay, that's all today. Uh, we study the solar PV tracking. So it's a simple thing and everybody can understand. But there's a question like, do we really need to install the tracking system or not? That's a kind of research question. Like you have to check your output performance of the panel um, and you have to check with the tracking system how your performance is improved and uh, whether the cost wise is a good, the smart decision to in, invest on the uh, tracking system or not all sort of things are decision making um, parameters with all this uh, decision making you can either go for solar pb tracking system or not okay that's all for today thank you very much please uh, subscribe this channel and uh, continue uh, support uh, for the growth of this channel and the um, knowledge sharing uh, with people Thank you. See you in the next video.